Hi, my name is Tim, and welcome to another coding video. In this video, I'll be showcasing a new AI that I recently made. It's an AI that plays Snake. And this right here is my boy Sammy. I have a cool idea. Why don't you leave a comment down below what you think the score is, and tell me whether you are surprised or disappointed by the result. And also like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we talk about the code, I want to tell you the story of me making this AI. I actually first started off making a snake AI after I failed the Pac-Man AI. And that try, when I was trying to make the snake AI, I failed also. The snake just wouldn't learn. It would not even eat the first dot. So I was really frustrated even though I spent more than 30 hours trying to figure it out. So in the end, I just told myself I need to start making other AIs and get better and start from there. So I went to make the Flappy Bird AI as well as the Chrome Dino Game AI. And I made them a video as well. And if you haven't checked them out, check them out. And after I made those AI, I felt more confident and I'm more capable of making a snake AI. So I came back to this, and I was still faced a lot of obstacles. This AI took me about 20 to 30 hours to make, with the bulk of it testing and experimenting with training methods. So this AI, why is it so hard, you may ask? Well, that's because this AI has 14 different out input and two output. Compared to the Flappy Bird, which only has three input, and the Chrome Dino game has five out, uh, input, this has 14. With 14 input, constantly putting information to the snake, the snake is a lot harder to train, and I initially did not come up with this many input, and that's the reason why it did not learn. So the input that I give you is that uh, the distance to the wall in the forward, leftward, and rightward direction, the distance to the body in the forward, leftward, and rightward direction, and the distance to the food in A direction, including the diagonals. And that's 14 different information constantly feeding to the snake. And this is a lot harder to train. It took me 500 snakes in each generation with about 68 generation in order to complete the training and the training process is really long because we have to play the whole game and as the snakes becomes much better at the game the training process gets much longer as well it takes about five minutes to train each generation so it took me a long time our beloved sammy has died salute to him he has died in order to reach a higher score. That's his purpose. Please give a moment of silence for my boy Sammy. He had a score of 89. Whether or not that's shocking, expected, or disappointing to you, he's always our boy Sammy. I put a link to the code down below and if you want to check it out on github download the code run it check it out um, I will start a time lapse of the training process of the game and you can check it out and it will be a time lapse of all the hundreds of snakes training trying to get better it's only three minutes long uh, if you want to check it out uh, watch it it's pretty cool you can actually see the progress of the snake improving because you know thousands of snake has died in order to for the evolution of the snake and in the in the end they produce Sammy our boy Sammy and now let's get started <laughs>
that is the end of the video I don't want to drag it too long and you can already tell by the generation the snake has really improved thanks for watching the video leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel I'll be making more video like this and I'll also uh, making a tutorial on making AI soon and please stay tuned and stay tuned for my next big project thank you very much if you like coding, if you're interested in learning coding, watch the Java tutorial. And I'm also currently making a Python tutorial as well. And stay tuned for that. See you in the next one.